and we are back welcome to the panthers den and i didn't think we were going to be here not this soon talking about almost well really the same issue that we talked about not too long ago again you could have been anywhere in the world and you're here in the panthers den with the dad panther and i greatly appreciate it to the new subscribers thank you so this is going to be more of a podcast i do not think i'm going to put anything more than images in the background but i should be streaming right now on twitch but i'm not because this news or this conversation needs to happen before i get into that just background okay i'm a casual gamer all the games you see on this channel is me playing it casually i have a job that i have to do full time i stream and content create part time uh, i've got a family so i've got to take care of that as well and so my perspective is always casual okay there's some awesome content creators and streamers who do it maybe part-time or full-time and they've got amazing expertise i'm just casual i'm cash cash so i have um one character in this game that's at 150 that's miss marvel that's my main i just fell in love with that character from the beta and didn't think i would i thought it was actually going to be cap and then i thought cap was going to be too similar to t'challa so that's what happened there now i have you know three other characters at 130 the soft cap so i'm spending a lot of time playing this game now the goal of anything i do is to add to the community not take away and i don't want to bs you guys and stuff so sometimes it seems as if i'm cynical but i'd rather be 100 percent real with you guys than come out here and just say hey this is the best game ever marvels yeah the foundation of it is awesome it's amazing um their fighting mechanism, the detail they put into the, some of the animations that they use, um, some of the movie references in the animation, the conversations in the elevator, might be a podcast later. Um, those things are interesting and the foundation is there. The player base is there with almost 3 million people that picked up this game, um, but they've made some blunders and some fumbles and they seem to yet again make another one. So there's some previous videos where I told you about a guy named Jason. He is a video game reporter for Bloomberg News, and he did a book. It was called, um, oh man, what was this book called? I'm glad this is a podcast because I can do stuff like this. Um, Blood, Sweat, and Pixels. I think that's what it is. And I told you guys, hey, check that book out. If you want to learn about the gaming industry and how it's a miracle for games to come out, check out that book. Um, and that he was working on another book. So in another video, I went ahead and plugged this guy's book I'm not paid by this. I don't get any advertising. He doesn't know me from anything, um, but he keeps it, you know, very real conversation in the gaming industry. Well, just the other day, he says on Twitter, Marvel's Avenger, a service game that has struggled to keep players is deciding to add more grind and making leveling harder. And the developers are warning players to get their levels. And now what's going on with this game? I'm so glad that he did that. Now, a while ago, I told you guys I reached out to him. Just I just sent a tweet. I mean, I'm not I'm not emailing the guy. I don't know him like that. Unless Jason, you you want to get to know me and we can talk and I can I can learn more about the business. But anyways, because it was certain people like him in the industry that will bring you know issues to light that's needed because it helps the community. I've never been one to tell anyone in the community don't give feedback give feedback make sure it's respectable make sure it's constructive um, feedback if you've got a problem with an aspect of this game or any game in general um, try to have a solution with it, it doesn't mean that your solution is always going to be right but there's I, the saying I like to say is the world is full of people who point out problems and not enough people who problem solve so when he went ahead and made this tweet it's interesting because it it's going to gain um, at the time I'm doing this, I think it's like maybe 4,000 um, likes. But eventually, I would not be surprised by the time I post this, it's going to hit 1,000 retweets and um, and more. And he is very, very... Um, what word do I want to use? I mean, other than being respected, it's just his words carry weight in the gaming community from a writer perspective. He's had the opportunity and you've probably seen this name, especially when cyberpunk was happening. He was one of the main people saying the issues with cyberpunk months before it went down. And he's taught, he talks to inside people. He talks to people who currently work on the games and he has a relationship with them that they trust to say this information when they can't say it themselves, them being the devs. So when he says something, 
it causes a ripple effect somewhere. The same way you had the information about how much money this this company Square Enix lost on the game. When you talk about the marketing strategy, when you talk about the I believe it's a seven year multi game deal, something like that. All that information comes from him and other key writers who are just passionate about their job. Now, when he made that comment, Greg Miller, who is in the community as well, and he enjoys playing this game okay if you've ever seen him on twitter he just talks about this game randomly um, for no reason he just enjoys playing the game okay this is what he says in the thread that jason said that i read earlier what kills me is that they're changing this before the next gen version drops so rather than wait release the playstation 5 or the next gen version and make this change in a few weeks so i can blast through 50 on a better machine they want me to grind and burn out before next gen arrives greg continues with wouldn't you want me to do this after i return to the game for clint and download it the prettier version it's just i mean guys it's it's somebody in the community who plays the game and they're giving their honest opinion with feedback so they're giving their honest feedback constructive criticism and then they're, they're given a solution in my opinion that's the best way to do it and what he's saying at least what i'm taking and i did change the word he says playstation 5 version i don't want to leave out any xbox fans or even pc is next gen in my opinion as well but he's, he's referring to you know next gen and he's saying hey listen why why rush this i've told you guys in a previous video that's what they're saying the devs are saying hey this change is going to happen so get in there and, and go do it you go do it guys you superheroes you do it you rush and you you get through this content you rush through you do it okay go do it go build refrigerators and such and then you're gonna get this new thing in. and one of the things i said in the, the previous podcast was like hey guys listen if you put out a graph something visually we can see even a percentage then the conversation it's not that uh the spoonful of sugar necessarily you can kind of understand what you're consuming you can look at the back of the ingredients and say oh yellow number seven and blue number five hmm do i really want to do that but in this you their execution on communication i have no idea what they're doing on that part part it's like i get it it's different divisions that do different stuff right but we're talking about what this game's been out what six seven months and I don't know who's in charge of saying, hey, look, you ready to send that tweet out? You ready to post um, some stuff on the, the Discord? And here's another thing about the Discord message that we're gonna get into. This Discord message happened at, sorry about that loud beep. Uh, that's gonna happen a bunch of times actually, cause I don't know how to shut that off. But this happened at 10, 11 p.m. 10 11 p.m. My apologies if you hear some weird sound effects, but I'm, I'm I'm learning. I'm figuring this out. This is what they posted in their Discord. Okay, their official Discord. They waited to 10. Remember what I told you in the last podcast. I understand I'm a small content creator. You might not know me. You, if you hit the like button, you hit the subscribe notifications. It tells the other squirrels to tell the other squirrels to tell other squirrels to tell your friends and people you don't know to check me out. But in the last podcast, I said, smoke to bees. If you don't know the reference, smoke to bees, a beekeeper will take a canister that distributes smoke, just smoke, nothing special in it, towards the bees. And what it does, it calms them down. Woo-sa. And some of the players in the community need a little bit of woo-sa. Or if that one doesn't work, you can do uh, three, two, one, one two three what the heck is bothering me and if you do that a few times you should feel cool you should feel like a cool cat so let's continue right smoke to bees why did this come out at 10 p.m maybe maybe my computer is wrong maybe my computer is making up a weird time number and this came out in the morning but why did this come out at 10 let's see let me check and see if i can see what time the um Okay, so Jason's tweet comes out at 11 a.m. 11 a.m. 
Let me see if I get one from. Yeah, shortly after that, Greg follows up. OK, so this is the morning. This is the morning. This is afternoon lunch. OK, so at this point, Chris Dynamics knows that two heavy hitters, two main contributing uh, writers, opinionated people in the gaming community has has just publicly talked about a new rework, but not in a positive way. They said it with a question mark and they said it respectfully. We're not talking about um, how you maybe view the community and you say, well, this person, in the community is talking. Yeah, but it's that person in the community. You know, you know, you know what I'm talking about, right? No, we're talking about two well-respected writers, opinionated people in the gaming community who play a vast majority of video games said this in the morning before lunch, before you sat there and ate whatever it is you ate yesterday for lunch. You waited about 12 hours to do the message in the discord. 12 hours. Why is that? Smoke to bees. Majority of people who got this information are getting this information waking up. Instead of them waking up to WandaVision, trying to figure out what's going to happen in the, the season finale, which I'm not going to spoil anything. I've already seen it. They are simply, man, let's get into this, right? I'm glad this is a podcast style because I can change up the timing and the flow. So we're going to read through it. And uh, if I'm reading hor horrible, I don't, I don't know what to tell you, but and don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm not mad or any, like it's a video game at the end of the day. It's a video game. So uh, I, the thing I'm more focused on is hoping that uh, you cool cats out there listening to this, you guys get real life RNG, amazing real life RNG. Um, and understand that if things don't go your way, you're not able to get real life RNG, that you can always craft things, kind of hold you together until, you know, real life RNG kicks in. So that's really the main thing I care about. Um, just understand, I, you know, I enjoy playing the game. I'm going to continue playing the game. Uh, but it, it's not it's not going to be a remote control of me and make me like feel bad about my day or something. So let's get into it. 10 p.m. Majority of fan bases sleep on this part of the world. East Coast. And this is what they say. We wanted to offer more clarification and details on a recently announced XP change. We did not change XP to increase the grind for the grind's sake. Our initial blog was not comprehensive enough to convey what we were already doing and why. So we cause confusion. We get it. So what are we going to do and why? Well, currently, as you get into higher levels, the XP required between levels didn't scale well. But your ability to crush enemies certainly does speed up at higher levels. So you can end up leveling up, diggling, for two to three times per mission, with missions taking about 10 or 20 minutes in length. So what's the problem? This is great, you might say. The problem we're seeing and hearing was you would immediately get more skill points than you had time to review, apply, and get used to before marking on your next mission and gaining your next few levels. Hopefully you can see the issue here. Hmm. Let's 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 stop for a second there and let's just let's just go off of that part. Um, now. I've told you guys before, whenever, in my opinion, a gaming company is trying to do something it needs to be fun. It needs to be informative and they need to respect the player's time. And there needs to be a rhyme or reason. You also, you also have to look at it as that your player base is intelligent, but communicate to them as if they're a kid. Let me um, kind of clean that up a little bit. Not really clean that up. Let me just. What I mean by that is one of the main issues with this game is that 
your time is not value. For the grind that you do, it is not value. It's another reason why I do not have a farming plan like I do in the division. I know exactly in the division one and two when I'm playing what, I, what I'm going to do. I know what missions, what time, how much XP I can pick up. If I'm farming for an exotic, there is a plan. There is no plan with Marvels. Yeah, sure, you can do Tachyon Rifts and you can get cosmetic gear. Uh, cos no, not cosmetic gear. It's, um, ah, oh, what is it? Something with space, can't think of it. But you know what I'm talking about. It's like the space gear. You can do certain missions and you can get the um, the stuff for the cloning lab gear. But obviously that that's not out yet. Um, so there are certain things you can do too far per se, but it's not valued on your time versus some other games. And you're talking about Marvel's Avengers that's been around while other games were being in their second or first year going through their bumps and bruises. And you're telling me they didn't pick any of this up while they were making their changes. You need to talk to people as if they're intelligent and how this comes off as if we're not intelligent to see you're posting this information at night when majority of your posts, whenever it's good news, right? What time is it normally with it's good news? Lunchtime. If it's not, it's early in the morning. Very rarely do they tell you anything that they're happy to tell you at night. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. So you're playing with the intelligence of your fan base by saying, and I know some people are going to hear this and not like me saying it because again, the whole idea is you got to be super happy, super happy Marvel's Avengers why can't you be happy but still be realistic right i'm not bad mouthing the devs shout out to the devs love for the devs it's a difficult job am i blaming everything on crystal dynamics no square onyx enix whatever they're called no disney marvel no the writers content creators that are on either side the community no but when it comes to the people who manufacture this game from beginning to where we're at now we don't have accountability there's nothing like a roadmap or a list of things they're going to work on necessarily it doesn't have to be a roadmap. I've already told you it could be like the Marvel movies and it could be phases. We don't have any of that. We don't know who we're supposed to say, hey, can we work on this and fix this? And it's unfortunate because there's an amazing group of people who put this game together. I'm sure of that. People who are passionate, who worked on this game. And then we have fumbles like this. And this is where we're at. We are what? I think you got a dev stream probably today. Man, if I was if I was able to talk to the dev team um, or the, the community manager team, LK, uh, the dynamic duo that is Phil and Andy, I would say, hey, guys, could we not stream today? Because I already see what it's going to be about. And you've got a really good stream, I believe, on the 12th coming up with somebody, uh, one of the devs who helped uh, design. Uh, Hawkeye and they've got something special lined up that should be fun and informative but if you're not going to value the players time the grind that they play if you're not going to treat the player pay blah blah blah, blah. I, I'm going to do all that and then say this treat the player base with intelligence but still communicate as if they're childs or kids or children I apologize um, then man and what I mean by that I mean like Know that we're smart enough to realize the time games you're playing. Know that we're smart enough to realize what you're doing with the adjustment of the XP, right? But communicate it so we understand it. Okay, when I talk to my daughter, I take her for someone who's intelligent. Though I understand she's still developing. She's still a kid. As she gets older, I don't talk to her as if she was what she was younger, right? And when I do talk to her though, I make sure if I'm trying to communicate something to her, I break it down in sometimes the most simplest form, even though I know she can comprehend more than that, because I want some messages, not all, some messages to have complete understanding. If you're just jumping in, maybe you paused, you came back, I appreciate it. It's a podcast. I'm the Dad Panthers, the Panthers then. We're talking about Marvel's Avengers and the latest, um, message that they just sent out to the community now going back with the the parenting analogy nobody knows what they're doing when they're parenting they just they're just doing it you're trying to do it the best way you can and but there are times where i'm going to tell my my kids hey listen 
we're going to do this. This is an elaborate plan that involves communication. And there's some stuff that might go a little over your head. You understand what I mean? All right, break. And we go do what we do. And there's some times where it's really simple. Do not touch the stove. It's hot. You see that? You feel that heat radiating off of it? That's hot. Don't touch it. No touch. No touch. You see that? There's certain levels of how you talk to someone. You're not belittling them, right? You're just making it simple that a majority of people listening to this. So if I said that to a majority of different age bases, right? They're all going to understand what I just said. And, and if you're saying it the right way, it doesn't come off as that person. It's just me. And I don't like it. I don't like it one bit at all. So when you get to the part, uh, we're going to go back up here and look at this. Um, there's a part where they say, um, our initial blog was not comprehensive enough. No, duh. We've been talking about that as a community since the blogs came out. The website is set up more for new people to buy the game than the people who already own the game. We're doing it and why dot dot dot. So we cause confusion dot dot dot. We get it. <sighs> I, the problem is this is great, you might say. So what's the problem? That's so interesting in video games that are PVE, right? So what's the problem? This is great, you might say. You're answering it right there, how you're saying it. Again, this is probably the longest video I did, but I, again, this is not a video, it's a podcast. Think about that line, right? So what's the problem? This is great, you might say. It's a PVE game that we've already paid for, that now the rumors are speculating that this game could be free to play that after a year or two, they're going to make it free to play. And you just, it is what it is. Look at it is that I'm not going to get into that. That's not what we're here for. I don't have expertise on that. The problem is if you reverse that is the player base is having fun with the leveling. At no point did anybody in the player base say, Hey, you know what? Leveling way too fast. Hmm. At no point did they do that. It reminds me of the situation right now going on with Outriders. Outriders is changing it because they realize people are hoarding, um, not materials, but skills to put in their, I guess, mod library or their rerolls when the game goes live in April. They are farming legendaries so they can break them down later so they can have skills or perks to move to other weapons. And they're done with the game. They're done with playing it on multiple characters and trying different things. And some are just focused on the grind. It is not the whole player base, but it's the ones who are hardcore in the game. And you've got that in Marvels. You got that in every game. And that's awesome. They go out there and they do that hard work and they play all day, all night. But Outriders devs are like, hey, listen, uh, we saw that. And we're going to make some changes. Some people are using the game as a loot cave which that conversation, how they're, how they're handling it, comes off as a live service technique for a game that's not live service. I'm just saying. Is that cool? I'm just saying, because I happen to know what cool is. Uh, it's a PVE game. And they're talking about, is this great that you feel powerful? I could be wrong. I could be taking this information completely wrong. You put in the comments and you let me know how you feel about it. You can say, hey, minute number, you know, 24, when you were talking about blah, blah, blah. I get it. Or I don't get it. Or, you know, here, here's what I would add to that. Just continue. We want people to level up. In fact, we really want to see more people level up more heroes. As playing the full Avenger roster should be the most fun thing you can do. But we don't want leveling up to be too overwhelming or diminish exploring each skill purchase. Let's stop for a second, okay? I don't know about you, this is just how I play. I get the skill, 
as you play you get the level and it goes ting you got a skill point ting you got a skill point and i just put it in like that's just me i just put it in any spot keep it moving once i finish the mission once i finish um maybe the grind that i'm doing then i'll go in and i'll i'll put it where it where it needs to be based off of my play style i might even watch an awesome content creator talking about builds and they're gonna tell me where to put it it's it's not as the the skill tree is not as deep at least maybe that's just me seeing it as maybe something like a path of exile or even the outriders where the branches are just so intricate that you could change so much it just depends on what type of build you're making and then for the most part that's it you spec it into it at no point did i ever move up in the, in the game and say man i don't know how to use this skill because i i got the skill point too fast i put it in too fast so we smoothed out the higher level curves to make it so you were less likely to ding more than once or twice per mission at higher end at a higher end there's so much variables of how quick you gain xp level types mission selection etc but at the end the result our tuning was meant to be around three to five hours to reach maximum level in total this means leveling at a steady pace around every two to four missions at the upper end look i understand what they're doing what they're doing is something that's normal that you'll see in games. Okay. I did a previous video where I'm like, hey, listen, I get the move. I get really who it affects because new players are not going to even know this exists, to be honest. Players who are just now getting into the campaign and the meat of it, they haven't even got to the end game yet or lack thereof. They're going to probably pay this no attention. And that's why I said they needed to communicate what was the percentage of their ding reduction. Hmm. 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 Let's continue. We consider this to be a way to achieve clearing ding thresholds and more time to engage with and enjoy each skill purchase. We also tune the game to make early leveling slightly faster, giving players more adjusted against enemies first starting off, hopefully making them feel more like a superhero faster. Just stop, okay? Every video game, especially this, cause that's what the title is, you wanna feel like a superhero, right? Am I right? There's something about doing BB time, Brooklyn Brawler time with Captain America, and then getting that orb back to replenish your the rest of your, your setup. And then every time you do another takedown, you get more time on the Brooklyn Brawler. How amazing of a feeling is that? Or uh, the other character I play with, my main, Miss Marvel. I'm in a group plan, and I love playing the, heal like the, the healer, heroic support type of thing. So every time I do a takedown, I'm dropping orbs for the team. I'm dropping regen orbs as well. And I get enough back on every takedown where I can continue either in big or continue to blow out hills, right? You feel like a superhero when those moments happen. You're Black Widow, you go invisible. You feel like a superhero. I don't know anybody in the community that's like, like I don't want to feel like a superhero. And when they're saying they noticed the progressions and stuff are so fast. They didn't notice that with the original Avenger character that was given. They didn't notice that right before they did um, release Kate. It's interesting, you know, it's interesting because they're doing play tests. And I think the rumor for the play test, oh, I don't even have the date in my head. It, I had it written down, but they're going to start play testing. And I hope what they're play testing is clone labs. I hope uh, cloning lab. I hope they're play testing Spider-Man with the branches that were just added and the emotes I mentioned, right? But the other thing that they should do is they should constantly be pre like constantly play testing with a, a group of individuals on these moves. Can you imagine if for three months they've been play testing this 
and the people play testing some of them dev some of them regular people like us in the community and they're like man i like this this actually feels good it feels organic it feels awesome and then you can take that and show that on a graph and say listen we've already been play testing this for for for, for some weeks i'm not saying it's got to be months what two four week cycles let's continue lastly more powerful enemies will grant additional XP, which makes them more rewarding to take down. Hopefully this clears things up and offers a better vision of what we're doing with the XP change. We're working to make things better and clearer when we share this sort of information. Will work, is what they're saying. In addition, the bug we discovered in regards to case leveling up at a blistering pace was due to players able to level up about 200 to 300 percent faster than other heroes we intend to fix this so all of them level up at the same pace that's the end of their message on that that last part right there to level up they're saying kate based off of their information kate leveled up 200 to 300 percent faster there's so much wrong with that and not the number right because i'm not here to fact check i don't i don't have the qualifications for that how do you have a percentage to tell the community something's wrong with how they're playing the game and they're enjoying it but you didn't have a number you didn't have a percentage you didn't have a graph or any visualization when you told us about the rework how sway how I don't know Clint's gonna come out. I'm gonna do what I normally do when I get a new character, and I'll, I'll let you know how it goes. I just go in the harm room. Harm room. When they say, "Hey, look, you got to go to the harm room anyway. It's a part of the missions." You do the harm room. This is what I do. I just stay in the harm room until I level up to power level 50. It takes me about three and a half hours. Is it fun? No. Is it content? No. Neither is the harm room. So don't get it twisted. The harm room isn't new content. It's a mode that probably should have already been out, similar to the cloning lab, similar to Super Adaptoid. It's an element that you play in the game. It's a mode, it's not content. Same thing with the story. The story is nice, I enjoy the story. The storyline is not content. It's a gateway, I like to think it's something that almost like a ride side by side. But I'm gonna get Hawkeye, I'm gonna do what I normally do, go in, go in the harm room and I'm going to get to a certain challenge i'll probably do two or three of the challenges you know how they teach you the buttons and his mechanisms and then what i do is i normally wait i do maybe two the first two levels and then i don't listen to it anymore it's going to tell me hit r3 to do this ability and i'm gonna be like nope i'm just gonna keep beating bad guys up or like miss marvel says i'm gonna keep be beating baddies up and that's it that's what i do i do it for two and a half plus hours why there's no loading screen and I get what you're saying. At this point, it should be PlayStation 5, next gen, PC, some ridiculous upgrades, right? So, I get a room with no loading screen, no menu to press anything, no issues on anything, no cutscenes, no nothing. I just keep beating up an endless wave of people until I have my fill. And if it works like it's worked on all the other characters to the same pace. So if Kate is leveling up two to 300%, how come I didn't notice that or feel that? when I leveled up and I even did a stream leveling up and some of you guys saw that same stream where it went skill point and was like, ding, like they like to say it, ding, 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 ding. And I kept getting ding, ding, ding. Cause you start getting that XP that starts accumulating while you're beating it. Yes, the bad guys are level one and you're level 15 and you keep climbing. And yes, you got to beat more bad guys to, to equal that. But again, there's no loading screen. There's no loading screen. I just do it that way. So we'll, we'll we'll test it. We'll see what happens and see how the grind feels. Or you can do vaults. You could do the day that remains. One of the levels that have the most chests that you can open and a good blend of um, mini bosses and main bosses and enemies and hostages. It's a great level if you've never messed with it. You also have, I think, The Last Avenger Standing is another good episode or mission to do. You could have been anywhere in the world and you're here. I'm sorry if this was long. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was fun. I hope it was informative. I respect you uh, spending some time here. You could have been anywhere. For the people who wanted 
a stream this morning. My apologies. Thought this was more important to get out and uh, allow the community to have a conversation on it. Again, I'm still going to play Marvel's Avengers. Still going to play it. Um, I enjoy playing like a superhero. Who doesn't? I enjoy a lot of the mechanics in the game and the visual look of the game on a PlayStation 5. Um, do I understand there's issues in the game? Yes. You know, one that just comes off the top of my head um, is the uh, the multiplayer stuff where you can you can kind of multiplayer with no issues with, you know, one or two players. But once you get to three and four, you, you sometimes you tend to have issues. Um, sometimes my poly disappears and I don't use them a lot. I don't max out a bunch of stuff. Um, I just log in and they're gone. I'm not going to make a complaint for it. It is what it is. It's a video game. I'm not stressing it. Um, you know, they, they've got to add loadouts. They've got to clean up, you know, and add things so it's smoother to move things to the locker room, to your inventory, um, locks on items. Um, the the gear needs to have a rhyme and reason. Um, there's a, a thing that a, uh, I don't think it was a construction person that said it. Might have been architect. And I use it in my life. It's form follows function. You design something in a, in a certain way and the functionality just comes out naturally. They have elements like that where you can go to tacking on Rift to get cosmic. That's what it was that I mentioned like 20 minutes ago, cosmic gear. So that you can use that cosmic gear on an enemy that has a weakness of cosmic gear. So it's like in the story and in the gear, it's telling a story. But they need more of that, that mechanic where you're farming at a certain place to get something else. I know they're still working on gear 2.0. I know the uh, stream team devs are uh, doing their best and they're awesome. They did a great job last week um, and, you know, hoping that they're stringing together. But I just hope uh, whoever's in charge of sending out these messages on Discord and the blog and and whatnot are just on the same page and they're communicating again, talking to people respectfully, like they understand what it is, but talk and communicate it in a way as if they are children. It just is easier for me to look at the numbers and say, hey, look, we're doing a gear work. Um, 15 levels got you to level 50. Now it's gonna take 25. And you'd be like, oh, okay, cool. It's, what was that? You can do the math on that? Yeah, it's pretty easy. All right, that's cool. I'm just saying, maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me. I'm trying to think, is there anything else? I don't think there's anything else. We just hit 150 subscribers. Thank you. Appreciate it. What else did we do? Um, we're almost at 100 followers on Twitch. GG to that. That's awesome. Um, thank you for the support and the funding that I'm getting. That's what, what helps me do different types of shows. Uh, just put the sizzle tape out which is uh, some highlights, how we ended last year streaming um, as we work to try to stream and bring uh, YouTube uh, gaming this show. So once again, you could have been anywhere in the world. I greatly appreciate you sticking around for probably the longest podcast I've done. And it's on Marvel's Avengers. I would have never thought that. I thought it would have been on like talking about wrestling from week to week or the division. But here we are. Till next time. Click, click, allow.